I am painting my these Ecouture one two three go tips, and what I've done is I've mixed up a little bit of um, like top coat. I'm just getting some top coat out onto my palette, and I'm mixing a little bit of gray with it to make it almost like a milky a milky gray I'm making a mess while I'm doing it so I'm just kind of making this like milky gray color and I'm painting the tips with it this is just how I want to start off This is just a really weird starting point, I know, but this is what I'm going to do. So I'm just using some top coat, mixing a little bit of the gray with it, just a little bit of the gray to make it almost like a milky gray color. I'm going to go grab another top coat. I think this one's pretty well had the biscuit. And... I'll be, um, I'll paint them one more time and I'll, okay, I've got my gray on. Now I'm going in with my gelish mat. I, I'm out of my regular mat that I normally like to use. So I'm going to have to just use what I've got. I've got a couple of different types. So I think I'll just go in with Jellish. So I'm just going to mat these these kind of clearish gray tips now. And then we're going to be moving on to the next step. So just let me go ahead and mat those and I'll be right back. Okay, at this point what I want to do is I have um, some gel, it's a clear gel, but what I've done is I've added um, my Blue Moon Glow Powder to it. It's a really bright pigmented glow. And what I want to do is I want to add it to the nail almost like it would be a rip and I'm going to be outlining it and everything I'm just trying to get some of this off of here I don't want it to be too too thick just going to give me the effect I want. So as soon as I have it kind of in the way I want it, I'm going to cure. Okay. I want to do it in different um, sections here to make it look kind of cool. If I don't stick to everything first. This glow powder glows so amazing. That's why I want to use this one. Now you want to have a little bit bigger sections in some places. And some places you want it to be thinner. So, I'm just going to work on this and cure it, 
and I will be back. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going in with a water pen, this, the kind that holds water in it, and I'm putting some water on just some gray acrylic um, water paint so I can give kind of like the illusion of shadow. I want to make it a little bit watery. I want it to kind of spread on the nail in a weird kind of form. We are going to be doing some painting on this and some other stuff, so... So basically I'm just putting gray around to make it look like a shadow and letting it kind of sit in the crevices there. Just let me get some more paint here. And I kind of want it to go in the cracks and where we have it kind of going, even though that'll be probably covered by black paint because I'm going to put black paint around so you can see the rips. happening here. The wetter it is, the better it's going to work. Because it'll kind of get in all those little crevices. and But you still want it to be gray enough to where it shows. but you do want it to look like a shadow on there. So I'm gonna continue doing this and then let it dry and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, what I'm doing now is after the gray has dried, I'm going in with black. I want to put some thicker black lines on there for a reason and you'll see that next step. But what I want to do here is just add the lines first because we're going to be adding another product on top of it. But it needs a black background. So going to be doing the black. At this point too you could probably do um, the black outline of the rips but at this point I'm going to hold off until I get my other product on for me. I prefer to wait. So I just want to kind of know what my nail is going to look like before I do any, um, what do you call it, any uh, finish, any like details like outlining and stuff, so. So, but I wanted to do the shadow first because I knew I'd be painting over some of it, so. Really 
showing you. I should probably do that so you can see. There, so I'm kind of just adding those black portions in there. That's all I'm really doing at this point. Okay, okay, that worked. So I'm going to continue doing the black. When I'm done the black, I'll be back for the next. Now what I want to do is I'm going to matte top coat all of it before I move on to my next step. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and matte top all of them. And then I'll be right back. Okay, at this point we're going in with our Emily Aurora Temperature Liquid. If I can get it open. And what I want to do is I just want to lightly put some where the black is. Don't have to put a lot, but you're going to have to give it about 10 minutes to fully cure and set up. Try to stick away from edges. So I'm going to let that start to dry a bit. Once that is dry, I'll probably do another top coat, but there's no sense in me top coating another two times, especially for matte, because matte can get quite thick. But because these are a longer nail, I can get away with a little bit more because you want thicker when you have a long nail like this. But what I'm going to actually end up doing is when it starts to dry down enough where I feel safe enough touching it, I'm going to go in and start putting my black lines around my ridges of glow 
where they're supposed to be like my rips. That's when I would probably start to do that. I'll get back up here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just putting this on the black areas. I'm not filling in the whole black area. I want the black to kind of show through a little. I just want to kind of get that oil spill effect. That's what this will give you. Okay. So now I watered down my black a bit. And I'm going to start following my... My rips and tear. It's not really like rips and tears, but it almost can be that if that's what you want. And then some can be thicker, some can be thinner. So I'm going to add that here where you come down. Yeah, like that. Why does it sound like my kids are like watching Titanic downstairs? I hear the Titanic music. I hear the Titanic music for sure. Somebody must be listening to music. Oh my. It's a love story. <laughs> oh, they're listening to Titanic. Yeah, it's funny. My kids, they crack me up. Yeah, something like that looks good. And there's really no rhyme or reason to this. You can, like, do whatever you want. Oh, yes. Sorry, I got my video on too. I'm, I don't know what I'm watching. Something about a volcano. I'm just gonna turn that off. Oops. <laughs> and it opened something. What is this? There, that's better. Something about a volcano. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know where it came from or why. It's just being crazy. Okay. So literally, I'm just letting my brush follow the stroke it wants to go. I'm trying to clean up any areas that I need cleaned up, or if I see something that looks kind of cool, I'll like elongate it, or make it look neat. like fun I'm 
Boy, those are starting to look pretty fabulous, especially with that blue oil spill in there. Ooh. And they're gonna glow like no tomorrow. Neat, interesting. Okay, so I am going to continue doing my painting here. Because you know me, I could like go into a long paint, a paint process. Because, well, that's just me. I love the painting part. So I can like be doing it for like ever. So I'm going to work on this, let it all dry, then I'm going to matte top coat it one more time. Then I will be back at you with some pictures and some awesome stuff. So look at those. Aren't those fabulous? And I'll try to get you some glow shots and everything. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, there's one part I forgot on here. I'm sitting here, I'm like, something doesn't seem right. I have to go in with my smaller brush and my black, and I'm gonna make squiggles. And little areas that seem to pop a little bit more to give it more of a jagged edge. That's what I was missing. I knew there was something I was forgetting, and looking at it, I just realized it's not necessarily squiggles I want. I just want um, areas that don't look quite so precise. So, oh, there's my kids. And I want to do it around to. Love you too, baby. And I want to add some just around light areas like that. So it looks a little bit more off. You don't want it to to look too too perfect. So I just want to go in and do that with a little bit around the edge. But I don't want them rounded. I want them kind of more jagged. So I'm just going to play a little bit here because as I was sitting here I was like looking at them waiting for them to dry and I was like you know it's just missing something and this is it it's the oomph of this sometimes these little details is what does it if you want to you could even go in with a little bit of white paint and add a little bit of or silver might actually look good too on these, just to give it a little bit of uh, just a very tiny bit. It would have to be like a dark silver, just to give it like highlighted areas. But you do want it to look a little bit more rough. Because I am one of those type of people that I always seem to make things look a little bit too precise and then it can in some ways 
ruin effects if you don't have the actual effect on there. The one that you need is to be a little bit more jagged. There. Sometimes jagged helps. Okay, I'm gonna go finish this up and then I'll send you some shots. Love you guys, bye-bye. And here are finished nails. They turned out really excellent. I love them. They are beautiful. I'm going to try to get some um, of the glow action going. And I will try to get some of the lights off in here. So I will see you in a minute. And here they are glowing. Love them. And I will see you next time.